Hi, in this short video we'll be going on to see how to use the dumpy level. The dumpy level is essentially a telescope which is fitted to the crosshair. The crosshair is kept so that we can have a frame of reference to find out the line of collimation. Line of collimation is a line which passes through the center of the uh, uh, eyepiece and center of the telescope. So we'll essentially have a straight line here and if the telescope is on a level plane and irrespective of the rotation of the telescope about its vertical axis we are having the line or a plane or the telescope is essentially on a plane hence whenever we are going to look at a graduated scale if we know the height between the base and the uh, i mean from the graduated scale we can find out the level and this is the basic principle with which the dumpy level is used to ensure that we are getting a plane, we will be using the spirit level which has been fixed. And when we look at the bubble here, we have only one bubble unlike the theodolite. So we have to place it parallel to, to uh, in leveling we will be parallel first keeping it parallel to two of the screws, over the screw in fact. And once it is in the center of the run, we will be making it perpendicular to this plane and using the other screw, the third screw, level it. So when we find that the telescope has the bubble in the center of the run at all positions, we will be saying that the theodolite is fully aligned. Now, let me just clear the ink and here it is. Okay. Fine, here it is. Now we will just, we in this theodolite, we have also a horizontal circle with graduations in case we want to see what is the measure the angles. However, in this case, we are not going to use the horizontal scale. On the theodolite, we have a clamping screw and a fine adjustment screw. You will be able to appreciate it better in the next slide over here. So you got a clamping screw over here and you got um, uh, the fine adjustment screw. To focus the telescope, you will be using the focusing screw which is over here. You will have to first ensure that you are able to see the crosshair clearly for which you can keep a piece of white paper and focus it. This is a function of the eye. Individual people, uh, the individual's eye uh, power or whatever you call it is different. Hence, we need to ensure that we are able to see the crosshair clearly. This is the leveling staff, the graduated scale we were talking about. So here there is a shoe. And whenever you are going to have a coincidence, you will call that as the reading. And you can have a look that a look at the number of readings. So you got, this will be the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this bottom will be your 100 mm. And so on and so forth, you go on to the 1 meter mark. You also have finer graduations which can help you read much closely. Because here you got a 5 mm resolution or the 5 mm least count. Here the least count is much higher. So you can actually get to see much better details. Have a close look at this uh, groove here. Here there is a, there's a spring loaded mechanism. So when you pull the stuff out, it will come out with a click sound. So here essentially it gets locked. If you are going to open or close the stuff, you have to press the the key down and then move the stuff. This will be available for each of the other extensions. So the entire, the total uh, extension can be 3 meters or 5 meters depending on the type of stuff. This is the right way to hold the stuff. There is no obstruction. The entire uh, region is visible. However, if suppose you are going to keep your hand like this, you are going to block certain readings for the surveyor. And there is a good chance that this is going to be tilted. Hold the stuff parallel to your body, it has to be kept vertical and uh, clamp it between the your feet. Let your feet make a V shape and hold on tight to the stuff. And this is the wrong way to do it. This is the right way. Any other way is wrong. You can here uh, see a party of people looking at the stuff and this is what essentially you are going to also do. And this is the reading which you are going to see when you 
view inside the stuff. So you got a, the center cross is what you're going to use. See where it is coinciding. So this is 14. You will be uh, seeing that this is at one two around uh, this and this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So here it's five centimeters uh, five mm each. So five ten. So this is around 10 mm. If you notice, it was slightly more than that. In any case, do not go for any values other than the least comp, which is 5 millimeters in this case. This is the typical leveling setup. In your case, you are not going to be changing the instrument position. So whenever, if suppose this is the benchmark or the, this is the datum level, this will be the first sight which you take. The first sight which you take from an instrument station is called the back sight. And the last reading which you take will be called the foresight. So when you look at this, these A, B, C, D can be read from instrument station 1 or level position 1. This will be the, this will be the uh, foresight because this is the last position here. And when you come back here, you are going to look back to the position which is uh, nothing but the back sight. This is uh, the tablation which you will be filling up. So fill up the back side. All the other uh, readings on the stuff are filled on the inter side. So you have the instrument at one point, and then you are going to read other uh, the other locations. So if you see here, you will find that you are looking placing the stuff at A. So it's all an inter side. First reading what you get is the back side. Rest of the height of collimation which is nothing but the, uh, if in this case it is 50, uh, the, the datum level is 50, so 50 plus 2.554, which is nothing but 52.554. You can, you, you can keep working the other information. So now we know the line, height of the line of collimation. So level here will be height of collimation minus intersight. So you keep on doing this and then you will take the uh, foresight. And once you change the location, change the position of the instrument, you'll again be looking at the previous position. So which is nothing but the back side. And from that, you'll be establishing the height of collimation for the second instrument station. So keep on going ahead with the various readings. The sum of the back side will be equal to the sum of the reduced levels. This will be a approximate check which you can do. So this is the underpass. In your case, you may not be, uh, you are not changing the equipment level, so you will not be requiring to make the check on the uh, height of uh, the uh, or the check arithmetic check which we are speaking about. Trust you found this useful.